folks. Um, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about software reuse. Um, this will be a short one, but um, I just wanted to reiterate how important it is to use functions. Um, when you write a function that does a particular job really well, you can reuse that function for multiple purposes. Um, for example, in our last program, the function um, ask yes no to, we could have used that for a number of different situations that were asking the user to choose yes or no. Uh, because we were passing the parameter, the string with the identifier of question, every time we want to call that function, we can send it a different question. And that way we have one function that we've written that handles asking them that question and getting their response, we don't have to keep rewriting that code. We've already got it written. Um, software programmers do this all the time. That's the whole basis of the standard library. All of those functions were written and then included in the standard library so that you don't have to rewrite them in order to keep using those types of functions. Um, at a more, at a larger scale, you also see this, um, for example, in gaming, in the gaming programming world. Uh, when when a software developer comes up with a, a graphics engine or a game engine that is really powerful and really flexible, that game engine gets reused. For example, the Unreal engine. Okay, uh, you may have heard of the of the first-person shooter, Unreal. Now, the engine that Unreal is based on is called the Unreal Engine, and it has been reused in a number of different titles. Um, here on Wikipedia, I'm looking at a list of Unreal Engine games, and it goes from a pinball game, Adventure Pinball Forgotten Island, um, to action-adventure games, First-person shooters, Duke Nukem Forever, used the Unreal Engine game. Uh, thinking game, Dr. Brain Action Reaction. Two of the Harry Potter games, Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets and Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, continuing down, Mobile Forces, Nerf Arena Blast. The list just goes on and on and on. Um, and we finally see Unreal Tournament, which is what the basis was of that engine in the first place. Um, and then they came up with the Unreal Engine 2, and that's also been heavily used. Um, Bioshock is a very popular game, Bioshock 2. Both use the Unreal Engine 2. Continuing down, Deus Ex Invisible War. Uh, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And you just see the, the immense number of games that are all based on that one gaming engine, that are all based on the Unreal Engine 2. Um, it's this sort of thing is what really makes it important to write your, your functions well and write them with the idea that you may want to reuse them for something else at a, at a later time. Um, that way you're not reinventing the wheel every time you sit down to write a program. Uh, if you develop a library of functions that are very, very common to the, types of, to the type of programming you do, um, you can then reincorporate those into other programs. So that is why software reuse is so important and this is just a, a small example of how here we're looking at three different game engines Unreal 1, Unreal 2, and Unreal 3 and they have been used in tens, uh, maybe even a hundred different games. They've been licensed out to educational purposes to the Jim Henson Company, Louisiana State University in Shreveport, uh, University of Tessied in the UK, University of Derby in the UK. They've been licensed for 
CG animations to Warner Brothers, Frantic Films, Buena Vista, Sony Pictures, TriStar Pictures. Okay, these these licenses for CG animations. This means that this game engine is has been used for more than just gaming. It's also been used for animation in the movie industry. Um, so the the benefits to software reuse are are really limitless. Um, it's it's all just a matter of the only limitation is how well you write your code and how popular it becomes or how essential it becomes. So that is software reuse and uh, hopefully that makes sense and we will talk again soon.